Well, last year's intense red tide bloom wreaked havoc on Bay Area beaches, and it kept tourists from beaches. Pair that with what might have been Florida's worst ever blue-green algae outbreak on the East Coast. But today, a newly formed task force assembled for the first time at our state capital reporter Forrest Saunders showing us tonight what its goal is to fix our state's algae issues. Eight months on, Devin Northway with the Panacea Oyster Co-op is still recovering from Hurricane Michael. We should be moving close to 50,000 oysters a week after Hurricane Michael. We're lucky to scrape by with maybe 5,000. It's one thing keeping him up at night, but another, the threat of red tide, which could make his shellfish toxic to eat. Red tide comes, our oysters are dying anyways, so we will have to toss our product. We have monitored. The good news, the now officially convened Blue-Green Algae Task Force might help. I'm pretty optimistic that, that what we come up with here is not going to sit on a shelf. It's big goal, knocking out the blue-green stuff choking Florida's fresh water like Okeechobee. The panel will try to cut the causes, fertilizer runoff, and other sources of nutrients that feed the toxic bacteria. Insert science, right, to make better decisions with how we allocate our resources so that we, in fact, can get the most bang for our buck. A benefit. Their work could also help other scientists with red tide caused by different algae from similar sources. A task force lead saying they'll be cooperating to make it happen. Back of the co-op's Chuck Shack. There's hope that help is coming, even if hope isn't enough. Mother Nature wants to do what Mother Nature wants to do, mm -hmm. but uh, any, any little bit helps. This was not a one and done type of meeting today. It's going to happen regularly over the next five years. That's how long this group hopes to look at Florida's algae problem. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.